Hi guys, Yanni and Lizelle forming Giselle Travels. We're inviting you on a photo journey with us to France and then specifically Paris. And uh, always great to be in Paris. It's a city of love, like you guys know. <laughs> so uh, the photo tour is just to kind of whet your appetite to want to go and visit this place. It's Gerard, Sonia, Lizelle, and myself, Yanni, uh, lifelong friends. And we decided let's go do France. And uh, we are at the Our Tambo Airport at that photograph. Right, the streets of Paris is something really, really great. There's an atmosphere, it's an amazing vibe with all the little restaurants and bars and shops along the streets. And it's just also obviously, it's great to just sit there and, uh, and enjoy a meal right there on the street. And then we have the Eiffel Tower, obviously one of the most famous landmarks in the world. And when you think Paris, that's what you think, Eiffel Tower. So where does this come from? The Eiffel Tower was built by Gustav Eiffel in 1887 to 1889. It took them two years to complete and it was uh, to commemorate the 100 years after the French Revolution. That why it was built. 7,300 tons of iron were used to that. And when it was completed, right to that little top it was 324 meters high the highest building at that stage in the world so when you go up to the to this uh, platform here you have an amazing view over the city you can go all the way to the top which we did not do so uh, we we opted to go to the first platform and uh, but the views from the first platform even is incredible that is a sign sign river they call it the Seine river at the back and when you stand there and you just behold the views over the city, it is spectacular. So there's the Seine River and it runs uh, right past the Eiffel Tower and right through uh, the city of Paris, Paris and it's 775 kilometers long and it finishes out or it flows out in the, into the English Channel. Now I would strongly suggest that when you come to Paris you have to take a boat trip but preferably in the afternoon late so that when you do the boat trip in the afternoon late you have like a sundown cruise which is just absolutely beautiful because you have to see the Eiffel Tower after the sun has set and the lights have come on on the tower it is something just so incredibly beautiful so uh, you can't miss that one you have to do it and see it at night it's beautiful and then we have the Arc de Triomphe <laughs> uh, an, an, an arch way that stands 50 meters high and at the moment it's a very very busy traffic circle uh, with 12 streets that join right there very busy traffic circle but this was commissioned by napoleon can you believe it in 1806 already and it was completed by 1836 sadly that napoleon never saw the finished product he died 15 years before completion but the reason for building it was simply because uh, it was to commemorate the victories the triumphs that they've had and this avenue is a famous landmark as well, a famous avenue that uh, 1.9 kilometers long and ends up at this Arc de Triomphe. And then we have uh, the very famous uh, Notre Dame. <laughs> it's really uh, dam, dame, it's the dame is for lady. It really is uh, what it means, Our Lady of Paris, which is dedicated to the Virgin Mary. And it's one of the medieval Gothic cathedrals that was built, listen to this, it was built in 1163. Yo! And it was completed in 1345. This is very old, hundreds of years old. So that is quite something spectacular. And then we have the Sacre Coeur, which is a very famous landmark Roman uh, Catholic Basilica, also in, uh, in Paris. It was dedicated to the Sacred Heart of Jesus, that where that name comes from. It was built in 1875, completed in 1914. And then we did something that was really quite cool, a city walking tour. It is where a student kind of puts out a message, he will be there waiting at 3 o'clock. 
and then whoever shows up at three o'clock he takes him for a walking tour and you tour uh, walk the city through very famous landmarks there so i just took a picture of the electric there were so many electric cars in france i was quite surprised and then you see uh, the houses and places where famous artists and painters lived and uh, then at the end of the day you can give this guy whatever tip you feel that you want to give him so that was quite a special walking tour uh, in uh, the streets of Paris. So our Paris tour came to an end and then uh, it was time to head out to the, to the rural areas and we booked something very special where we decided to make a six day boat trip uh, with a company of, called Le Boat and we took off from a, a little town called Mijen, and that's where we got our boat. And for the next six days, we, uh, we were on the waterways, one of the very uh, many waterways that France has to offer. We rented bicycles, four bicycles on the boat. The boat is equipped with everything you need from uh, kitchen, bedrooms. Uh, it has um, two bedrooms. It has uh, everything that you need. What we would do is to jump uh, off the boat, we would anchor and when we get to these little villages, take the bicycles and just go and, uh, and cruise these little towns. It was so lovely. Uh, when we passed the weed, wheat field, I just saw that little red flower and I just had to jump off the boat and quickly take a picture. It was standing out so much. And uh, sometimes we were in little villages and sometimes it was in bigger towns, but it was just absolutely uh, wonderful to be able to do this. One of the very, very special things to do on this boat trip was to anchor the boat wherever you'd like to do that. And you would just camp off for the night and just enjoy nature. It was absolutely so special. So uh, this brought us to the end of our boat ride and also the end of uh, France. From here we head on to Switzerland, which will be on the next video with High Speed Train. Uh, please join us for our next video, please subscribe and uh, you will get the next video where we are in uh, Switzerland.